next thing I knew, I was like on my knees, holding the back of the head, you know, screaming. A Green Country paramedic who was shot in the head twice and beaten by a co-worker says she's still fighting to get disability benefits four years later. Thanks for joining us. I'm Craig Day. And I'm Lori Fulbright. She tells News on Six's Kristen Weaver she needs this help and she now has a new mission in life. Kristen? Well, Lori and Craig, Bonnie Vanderay says that she is a fighter and that she's fought hard to recover after she was shot twice in the head. But she says she still doesn't understand why she's been denied disability benefits over and over. Bonnie Vanderay says becoming a first responder was a calling for her. She worked as an EMT and paramedic, and in January of 2018, her ambulance partner came to her home to fix her washer. Her partner suffered then, from PTSD and cancer battles, and that day, for no apparent reason, he shot her in the head. The next thing I knew, I was like on my knees holding the back of the head, you know, screaming. He shot her again before eventually shooting and killing himself. You know, I'm going to have to fight for my life here. Bonnie spent several days in the hospital but survived. She was a runner before the attack and says it was her goal to do another race. So with the help of a walker, she completed a 5K. And, and it was like bigger than, you know, my first race, you know, because... I wasn't supposed to be here. Bonnie did several more races and inspired hundreds of people as Wonder Woman along the way. She even wrote an autobiography. But she's still fighting since her request for disability benefits has been denied over and over. I found out in June that it was denied. Bonnie says she still has migraines, seizures, blood pressure issues, PTSD, and anxiety. Do I have to get shot a third time in the head or what? <laughs> Bonnie says her message to others is no matter what you face, just keep going. It's still a mountain and you don't compare mountains to mountains. Now the Social Security Office says it can't comment on specific case information, but says it uses a five-step process to evaluate if people are disabled based on their work status as well as the severity of their conditions. Live in Tulsa, Kristen Weaver, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.